Oh my god. <sighs> I messed this up so bad. Oh jeez. Okay, let me clean my lens. <laughs> oh, I hope everyone who's in the other one is making it here. Uh, okay, I tried to be so proactive. I was like, I, I'm scheduling this ahead of time. It's all set up. And then I messed it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're back. I've got someone. There were 20 people on the other stream and I messed it up. Oh my god. So, when I was trying to go live on the other one, it was like, turn your screen to landscape to start. And then for some reason, it wasn't like believing that it was in landscape. And I'm like, I'm in landscape. And so I just hit go live anyways. And then it started it vertical. And then when I was trying to get this one started, it also wouldn't turn. And it turns out that I had my um, auto rotate off. So here we go. We're back. We're doing this. Oh, uh, okay. Who's who's in here? Who we got? L Stacker, One Lifetime. For some reason, I kept reading that as One Life Train, but it's time. I got trains on the mind. I don't know. Uh, Supreme 182, Chris Xine, Chris Crossing, Chris Cross. Was was that a rapper in the 90s before I was alive? Hi Janice, do you have a map because I keep getting lost in your eyes? So nice, Chris. So was good. Brett with a weird face. Cannonball that like button. Yeah, L should have done portrait mode. I know, but oh, just the watch back. You'd have had to watch the whole thing on portrait and people hate portrait mode. I don't know. I'm doing the best I can, you guys. Hello, hello, ho, oh, ho, hi. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to read all these other written. Hoi, hoi. Hello, what up? Hi, beautiful. Hi from the Pyrenees, France. Janice. Yo, guys. What is going on? I need to find my shoes. I think I'm going to take you outside. This is actually really good that I'm doing the live stream because, uh, oh, my pants are up here. This is literally the first time I've, like, gotten dressed today. Um, I've just been, like, in my pajamas all day. And finally, I was like, all right, let me put real clothes on here uh, for a sec. Oh, got the shoe on. All right, guys, let's freaking go. Let's go in the wilderness. Nope. <laughs> We're doing this. Live stream. Ow! Live stream from the wilderness. Do, 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 do. Ooh. There's some snow. We're wildernessing. Ow. Ow. These are sharp bushes. Ow. Oh, boy. Ow. Oh, ow. Glad I put real shoes on for this. Ah. Can you guys smell the nature? Why is the lighting weird? Let me clean this again. There we go. <sighs> smells like nature. Do you have smell-o-vision? Can you get the smells on your side? <sighs> Welcome to the wilderness. Um, what's going on? I have to get so close to read these things. What's up from New Zealand? Yo, I hope I'm gonna be in New Zealand this fall. I hope everything clears up and uh, I get to go to New Zealand like I'm supposed to. Throw my little tripod on here. Oh, nature, peace. <sighs> nature. People always do yoga in the nature. How that hurt. How? <laughs> um, I don't know why my lens looks so dirty. Does it look like bad quality? I don't know. Okay, what's going on? I gotta scroll up. Uh, hi from Australia. Hello, mate. <laughs> mm, let's skate. What's up from New Zealand, Sweden here, Boise, Idaho. Your hair is on point. Loving the stream. What's up, gorgeous? This snow snow sucks. Lucky you if you're straight. I like kind of rode for two days. Um, kind of over it though. Um, I... I guess I can get this into this more, but like I am out here in nature on the condition that I'm like not interacting with anyone out here. Like I fully stocked up in my van. I like pre-packed all of my food, all my supplies I need so I don't have to like interact with anyone um, or any businesses. And um, so I'm, you know, I feel comfortable and I feel okay with the way that I'm doing this. However, 
I'm worried about setting the example for other people that other people are going to be like, oh, Janice is snowboarding, so we can go to Tahoe and go snowboard. Um, because I doubt many other people can actually do it this way where they're not interacting with anybody or any businesses or any people or anything. Um, and so I don't want to influence others into coming here and riding and doing the things that they're not supposed to do. So I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go home soon. Um, I don't, I'm not really going to post any snowboarding from here. I just don't think it's a good example to be posting snowboarding stuff right now for other people. Um, what is going on? Let me see. Wait, did someone say no sound? Was there no sound? Oh, is, oh, uh, is snowboard season over? Yeah, it's pretty much over. Um, where are you? Hope you're all good. Hello, where are you? Where are you in Tahoe? I'm in Tahoe. Yes, where is that at? Glad you came back. I was like, what? Yo, I'm, I'm trying to post once a week. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying. What's kicking? Yo, from Telluride. No sound. Is there still no sound? Wilderness. Wilderness. Oh, <laughs> I thought, that, I thought that was someone's location. Okay, go yoga. It's good. Thanks for doing it again. It's my first time I live chat. Oh, well, welcome, Gaming with Morgan. Looks good. You look goody. What's up, Jay Spitz? Landscape is the way to go. Buckhouse is live at the same time as you. I know, but he's on YouTube every day, and this is not an everyday thing, so you should watch me. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been to Woodward? Yeah, I spent a lot of time there this fall. Uh, dee -dee 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 there, here, then here she is interacting with us on YouTube. Yeah, because I nothing can be spread over the internet except love. You can spread love over the internet. <sighs> Are you lost in the woods? I can hear their sound. I can hear. Oh, good. We hike in if it's right or wrong. It's right. They robbed us of the. Why does it still look. <sighs> I don't know why I. Oh, wait, I have two lenses. Am I wiping the white right lens? Mm. I don't like this light. Guys, we're going. We're going on the trip. Oh, it burns! <laughs> <laughs> I've been inside in quarantine for too long, you guys. The direct sunlight hurts. <laughs> Does this light work? Hello. Hello again, it's me, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. <laughs> uh, how do I... Uh, I can hear you. We hike in, they rob us. Well, I can't really do anything about that. There's an... Al Stacker says, if you need a moderator, I would like to be one. I don't even know how to do that. I see that you've been a moderator in like uh, Kevin's videos and stuff, but I don't I don't know how. I'm just a snowboarder who accidentally ended up on YouTube. I, I this whole thing is a mess, kind of. Okay. Hi. Wow. Nature. My bad. It was me. You're so cool. Hey, are you going to visit India for snowboarding? That'd be cool. Can I snowboard in India? I want to go to India. I'm in Georgia. So it's one to three days where I live. That's not very much. I'm out of breath. <sighs> I'm on one, you guys. I'm just so excited to talk to people. Talking to civilization. Talking to civilization. Interacting with civilization. I don't... <laughs> See, this is what happens. I've been, like, cooped up on my own for so long that I don't know how to talk anymore. But I'm so excited to talk that it comes out way too fast and then I can't handle the words coming out of my mouth. <sighs> to start following your YouTube. Found you from Braille. Yeah, thanks, Logan. I need a... I'm hoping that I can skate with them again once this uh, is all settled down. Has everyone smash that like button? Yeah, I'll stack it. You tell them. Be my hype man. Oh, oh, throw down. It's a hoe down. It's a throw down. Any new stand-up comedy material? I, I have a few things I'm working on if I ever do stand-up comedy again. I have, I have a few different little uh, stories and jokes that I've written. Um, by the way, when I first made that joke about Cedar Financial coming after my money and um, Andrew from Cedar Financial hitting me up every week, like in reality, I was getting one email or call a month they email me every other day now and I think like somehow the um, algorithm heard me say debt and avoiding Cedar Financial and somehow it like pinged them and now they like hit me up every day and it's stupid <laughs> he's getting Andrew from Cedar Financial is getting a little too clingy for me now YouTube gone wild how long will long will have 
close up time. El Stacker, are you moderate or something? I don't know how to do it. Look for you at Copper was gonna buy you lunch. Dang, I like lunch. I could have used that. Marco Figueroa, dude, thanks for the money. $3.99. Hey, you know what? When I'm back in civilization, when I go back home, I can go to Taco Bell and with $3.99, I can get three things from the dollar cravings menu. I get my um, uh, cheesy bean, uh, the cheesy bean and rice burrito, the shredded chicken mini quesadilla, and maybe a potato soft taco, sometimes a spicy tostada, but I can get three things and it's, and I'll get like 50 cents and change back from that. So thanks man. Oh, after YouTube takes the 30% or something. I think I can get two things from the menu. <laughs> Where do you have Marco Figueroa? L Stackers is trying to collect the set. <laughs> Are we a set? <laughs> Should I? I need to. I want to stand up because I've been sitting in my van all day. Uh. Okay, so here's the thing. Oh God, I'm trying to like catch up to all these comments so I can like talk about things I was going to talk about. Oh, I should have brought my water out. Getting out of breath with all this talking. Oh, and I'm like a little burpy. I just ate like six pickles and drank a bunch of pickle juice because I was really hungry. <laughs> I feel like these are things I don't need to share on the internet. Um, I can't wait to be back in this game. Hoping it's sponsors in the future. Yeah, dude. I hope you do too. Just post stuff, have fun. Um, the thing, like my first snowboard sponsors that I ever had came from like just going to different events and like riding and being like having fun like being part of the scene I'm finding my light guys this is a little Hollywood tip you gotta find your light um no my first sponsors came because I was just I went to events I participated in things I hung out I went out with people who were from different companies like just kicked it and um and uh went riding with them and had fun and mostly it came from just cruising with people in the industry and they're like oh hey like that was fun riding today like do you need a board like do you need some boots or whatever um so i guess skating is probably it could probably be the same way if you go to different skate events and like skate contests different skate industry things and just hang out and like meet people and be a person you know be a person like don't just like be going around like hey do you want to sponsor me do you want to sponsor me can i get free stuff but like be like oh hey like nice to meet you like oh that's a cool picture of your kids like that's sick do they skate and like just like genuinely be interested in other people and be a, be a person <coughs> oh, oh that's the runner <coughs> just kidding that's a pickle <laughs> uh Where, wow i'm so far back i talk way too much michael super becker yeah dude i did uh i posted a stand-up set that i did one time one time only Hell yeah, Fimsk star. Simba ya bimba. Yo, Vermont. That's Skynet watching. Hey, come to Washington. Are your parents back? Are, are you in your parents' backyard at the vacation home? Ha, I wish we had a vacation home. No, I'm in my fan's backyard. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Game with Maureen. 27 male, male, male. Himalayas are great for snowboarding and hash. David trying to get to say water and talk about. Dude, we're sitting there and I'm just like, it was, it was funny in person. It was super funny in person. I'm glad they filmed it. Any new sponsorships after the games? Um, I haven't had a chance to like follow up with those companies yet. Um, I do have, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, get on my Instagram. Um, make sure you go to follow next week. I'm going to be posting a collaboration I did with Kershaw Knives and they are going to be giving away a knife to one of my followers. So um, that's going to go up, I think, next week and you'll have a chance to enter that to win like an $80. No, it's like, I think like an $120 knife. I think. I think it's a nice knife. Um, are you faster? You get too distracted. Okay. I get cheesy bean and rice burrito, beefy Fritos. Oh, yo, I get the beefy Fritos burrito sometimes. That one's good. Come to Washington. It has good summer sauce. Four ninety nine. dollars 99 Yo, cheesy bean and rice. Breast goes down my fave. Another one. Marco. Ching, ching, ching. I tried to do something gangster and cool. Clearly, I'm not gangster and cool. <laughs> um, yeah, that was something she basically agreed to for a moment. Yeah, so I met Kate. Um, she came to the Burton store. There's a party at the Burton store in Santa Monica. Oh, let me get a little shout out real quick. Derek Warden, 1999. A little slam for your adventure stop. Thank you so much, Derek Warden. You're rad, dude. I'm hyped. Ow. Ow, the stick is sharper than I expected. 
Um, so I'm at a party at the Burton Santa Monica store and Kate was doing her podcast there and I guess she had like asked a few people around the store like oh who should I have as a guest on the podcast and a few people were like oh have Janice be a guest and so she came up to me and she was like hey like I do this podcast like would you want to talk on it and I'm like sure I don't really know what a podcast is but like let's do it and then on the podcast like or I mentioned to her before we were doing it that I was like yeah I um I took a sat I, I took a um stand-up class one time because the Screen Actors Guild um, had a seminar you could sign up for and it was like a three-hour just like thing where they talked about stand-up and how to like format a joke and uh, so I did this one three-hour class but I guess the way that I said I did stand-up class she thought that I like meant that I've done stand-up and so on her podcast she was like hey I have a show in four days like do you want to do a set and I was like yeah uh, so <laughs> I ended up doing a set ow Ow. I ended up doing a set at her stand-up show and um, it was pretty wild. You will not reach to the bottom of the chat. I know I'm far behind. God, what I'd give to be cooped up with you. <laughs> Love. Hey, it's Samantha. What's up? What's a girl? Picklebacks. Okay, Pinky, that's basically what I was doing, but I was just drinking straight pickle juice because I had nothing else to drink. Oh, I'm that far back in the conversation. Oh my God, back on the pickles. Are you sponsored by Santa Cruz? Um, yeah yes yeah Santa Cruz has been like the homie um I'm like not on a contract with them but they they give me swords and clothes and like whatever they're super cool they've they've hooked me up for a while for like I think three years now they're cool um why am I struggling okay I uh, yeah. now you can buy $29 worth of pickles and dollar menu a uh, cool somewhere in India is especially is popular especially in Jammu Kashmir and Shimla Gulmarg is one of the base resorts in India. I want to go there one day. India is definitely on my list of places that I would like to travel to. Get to go to HNS for a shopping spree. I snowboard. John Hill rant? I don't have anything to rant about John Hill. John Hill's cool. I met him, uh, I met him at Dutour a few years ago. Um, oh my god! <laughs> So I was playing with this little stack of pine cones and not really looking I was talking to you guys and playing with it and I glanced down and this big spider just like crawled out of the stack of pine cones that I was playing with <sighs> Okay, I'm not like scared of spiders, but I don't like things uh, Sneaking up on me unexpected like that um, Okay, um, yeah, no, so I met John Hill and then uh, uh, He's super cool um, and I met Sarah Dietschy last fall, and um, now they're engaged. Super cute. Okay. <sighs> okay. Back to where I am. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Uh, John Hunter, what was the first trick you owned on a snowboard, and how long did it take to stick it? Um, god, the last thing I, the first thing I really remember was maybe doing like, I think like a backside 180 off of a rail, or frontside 180 off of a rail, I think. Um, I was doing a rail jam and I didn't know any rail tricks and so after I did a 50-50 Oh, I think I did like a lip slide. I think a lip slide and 50-50 are my two tricks I knew how to do and I was in this rail jam so I was like well I guess I need to learn some new tricks right now because now I've done the two tricks that I have So I am um, so I, I learned new tricks there in the contest um, Okay, we're we're getting away from the spider. He might tell his friends about me um Oh my light looks my eye looks cool in this light. Look at that. That's so cool. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> um uh whoa, there's lots of tacos in here. I'm trying to go up. You should collab with Dale Decker. Dude, I know, okay. I have some beef that I need to, to work out with Dale. Just personal beef with him. Um, he we were he was gonna be my fake internet boyfriend, and the video he posted me in said I met a girl dot dot dot, and I thought he was talking about me in that video, and then it was a different girl that was in the same video, and then they ended up dating, and I was like, wow, cool, Dale, thanks, like so much for that. Uh, <laughs> um. I deleted Instagram at time being flexed on every time I would it. Can we get some tacos in the chat? Oh, this is where the tacos came from. Tacos. Lots of tacos. Tacos. You, do you have two different colored eyes? I do. They're different colors. Give me a shout out. What's up, lock sock? Lock sock. I can say that in French. Un lock is okay. No, I'm just kidding. I, I do Duolingo, but I'm not that advanced yet. <laughs> um, 
how can you be so pretty? I got it from my mama. <laughs> I saw him for the first time four months ago. I found him burned board at Goodwill for $25! And I went to a public park after watching some YouTube how to snowboard videos. That's sick. That's awesome. That's why people talk about like, oh, I can't snowboard because it's so expensive. Like snowboarding is a rich person sport. Um, you can go to Goodwill. I just bought, I bought a pair of Burton snowboard boots that were unused at Goodwill for $9 this last year. And then I like gave them to one of my friends who needed snowboard boots. Marco Figueroa, tell us something about David Jones we don't know. <laughs> Marco, Marco, oh, okay, what can I tell you? The thing is, I don't know what he intends to keep private about his life. Um, I don't want to say something that's supposed to be private. There's things that I could say that maybe aren't public knowledge. Um, hmm. Something that about David Jones that we don't know. David Jones. Um, I feel like, I feel like David, maybe you don't know, he, he seems like he's like kind of shy. Like, um, like in person when you first meet him, he's like pretty quiet and like keeps to himself. He, he reminds me of like that kid that's shy, but then like really makes an effort to to talk to people and be social but inside he's like oh oh like I, I don't know I get that vibe from him that he's like he's he's actually secretly a shy guy uh, you keep pulling pants up I always need a belt are you gonna start doing more live chats yeah Mibs Mibs Christopher Mondragon I am um, there's a girl um that I was in a hockey film with she's a hockey player and her name was something Mondragon um Alyssa, Alyssa Mondragon, if you know Alyssa, she played hockey with me once in a film. <laughs> Thug life, wrong direction, what happened? What's your advice on living in a van and snowboarding around? I'm thinking about doing that next season. Um, I think I'm gonna make oh, a video series about van life. I'm still working on my conversion. My van's up there. If you can see it in the back, say hey. Hey. Uh, she's up there. Um, I'm still working on the conversion, but I think I'm gonna do like a whole video series on um, conversion stuff, like how to do it or what I do I don't know uh, ah, spider have you ever met Casey yeah I met Casey uh last summer at Mount Hood I did a live stream with him and Kevin and TJ a few times can you always skateboard yet I started you're good so you can do anything I can I actually um back home at my parents house I've been on my skateboard just doing like ollies in the driveway and they have gotten better I'm way more consistent with them um I can do them moving better but my fakey ollies are still like a lot better than my normal ollies which is weird um why is this like blown out focus focus okay uh, how did you get into competing and have you met Casey? i got into competing um the first year that i started snowboarding I moved to Tahoe um, to go to Sierra Nevada College, and I chose the school because it had the best snowboarding school, or I mean the best snowboarding team, and I wanted to be a professional snowboarder, and I figured that was the way to do it, was to go to the school with the best team. Little did I know, um, college <laughs> snowboard competitions have nothing to do with actual like professional snowboarding or getting sponsored. Um, it really doesn't mean anything, but I didn't know anything, so I came here. Um, I tried to get on the team my first year, and they said I couldn't be on the team because I had no competition experience. I'm having a little fun on these rocks right now um i had no competition experience but uh so i dropped out of school for the spring and oh it wants me to rotate <laughs> i dropped out of school for the spring and um just entered myself in competitions and i just started competing and i basically like learned how to snowboard in competitions like i my I showed up to my first slope style contest and it was like i think like a 10 foot jump and a 15 foot jump or like a 15 and a 20 or something and I hadn't hit a jump bigger than like five feet, but I was like, well, time to compete. Guess I better learn how to do this right now. Um, so pretty much everything I learned was just in contests. Like, I guess I need to do this. Um, that's how I started competing. How do I, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, I am so far behind. How did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> the guy was talking about twisting the snowboard where your lean foot and your rear ones go down, create a slight twist. Yeah, that's that's called torsional 
flex, torsional rotation or something. Um, you, it, I mean, it's important. You do that in setting up tricks and stuff. It's good to have that control, but I don't think that's important to focus on as a beginner. You don't really need to know about torsional flex yet. I don't want you to do it. Plan to start wakeboarding? No, I'm Mexican. Is <laughs> I, that was someone's comment, not me? Is that the place where there was a fire? No. Is one eye green and one brown? No, one's like light brown and one's dark brown. Dude, your comment was hilarious. Thanks. Um, you should actually get the lemon house, dude. I want to get the lemon house so bad, and I couldn't believe so many people were commenting on my Instagram. Like, oh god, that rock moved. <laughs> <laughs> um, so many people were like, congratulations, this is so amazing. I'm like, dang, I'm like, I wish I actually bought a house. That would have been sick. <sighs> I love your eyes. David Jones has uploaded a TP fingerboard video. Tony Pork! Oh, he told me a story about Tony Pork is that for some reason, like the way in Kiwi accents, Tony Pork sounds like Tony Hawk in the way that they say things, but it doesn't sound like that to us. But Tony Pork is like a joke on Tony Hawk. <laughs> Yeah, playing a bad week. Let me be your internet boyfriend. You don't even have a profile picture, bro. Shout out for me and love your channel. I'm surprised you know that. Are you Christian? Where do you want to live? Hi, Kevin. That place is beautiful. Here is a youth for Casey. Overstoked for daily. The crippler, you are an inspiration. I don't know what any of this means. Where is everyone watching? I'm loving the sound effects. Julie Zoom, Washington, Boise, Idaho. When are you coming back to Bear? Watching from Australia. That year. But. But your version of an but your version of an accent needs a little work. No, shoot, that's like bordering on Cockney British. I can't do Australian accents. Toilet paper. Where are you from, baby? Um, I'm from San Francisco, but you don't have to be a creep about it. Taco Bell. Banana, na 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 na. We're breeding tacos on a Tuesday. Na 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 na. Is it Tuesday? Is it Thursday? Is it Thursday? Yo, it's Taco Thursday. We're here for, wait, okay, hold on, I'm gonna rap, but I can't rhyme anything with Thursday, so I need to restart. All right. Okay, hold on. Hold on, someone, someone give me a beat. Just at your own, behind your computer, just hit me with a beat. All right, Wayne McKenzie. This is the, the, the taco rap. Uh, all right. I'm getting some tacos from Wayne. I'm not worried, cause it's not gonna rain. We out here fighting through the pain, being secluded in the quarantine. Shoot! Oh, I lost it! Oh, that was so good for like three lines. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm not. Do you to talk a comedy bit? <laughs> I don't know if I can just like make up bits on the spot. Uh, <laughs> can I can I think of any taco jokes on the spot? Mmm. Tacos, tacos. Uh... Uh, well, you know, I will tell you something about Taco Bell that upsets me about Taco Bell is that uh, they put the cheese on the top and so it's on top of the lettuce and it's not touching the meat so the cheese doesn't get warm and it doesn't melt. And if you know anything about tacos, the cheese should be melty. You don't want cold, dry cheese on the very top of your taco. Um, so it's a little disappointing that Taco Bell doesn't probably make a taco, but I did it right. I took my taco apart. I disassembled it as a mechanic. I put my cheese right on the meat layer and then threw it in the microwave and threw the, uh, threw the lettuce back on. Um, because also you can't, you can't microwave lettuce. Like there's a specific art to taco creation. And, uh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. I was standing on this, I jumped up onto that big rock and it slowly started to tip. Oh, that was gonna die. Um, yeah, that taco bit wasn't really funny. It was just kind of telling a story. Um, oh, it's so nice to just like, I'm just like walking around all over the place. It's a really good time. Wait, where did the track go? Oh, there we go. I'm giving you a beat. Throw us a Awesome. No, no, no. You lost it. You lost it. $13.99 is all it costed. Wait, was that part? Should that be part of the rap? Ah, oh, dang, you're right. You're right. You're right. I could have been like, oh no, I don't know what I could have been. Would you recommend a snowboard with magnet traction for a beginner? If not, what would you recommend? Like rocker, camber, whatever. Uh, I have ridden camber my entire life. I stand by camber. I believe in camber. The only reason I didn't um, use camber was uh, when I was riding for Rome. I think the boards, I got one board that I think was like flat based with camber tip and tail. 
um, but it was flat through the middle. Um, and the reason I like Hamber is because if you're gonna ride seriously, if you're gonna go fast, hit big jumps, steep lines, you need camber. Like at the end of the day, camber is what you need for like extreme level. It gives you the most control, the most support. Um, and people started putting rocker out there because it's like buttery and playful and it's easy for beginners. But I mean, if you learn on rocker and then switch to camber, it's gonna be weird. I guess like I feel like you should just it's camber might be a little harder in the beginning but like pretty much every pro that's out there today learned on a camber board so um because that's what there used to be and uh I don't know I stand by camber like if you like let's say you hit a jump and you land kind of like tail heavy on a rocker board like if you're over your back foot on a rocker board you're gonna pop right out and go down if you land over your back foot like tail heavy on a camber board you have a much better chance of like pulling it out and like riding out of the landing um it just it's more stable and it's uh it can uh yeah make up for like bad like a bad landing can be saved by a camber board where a bad landing can't be saved by a rocker board <laughs> in my own personal opinion. <sighs> uh... Can you hear a word? Okay, so I had this bit in like my videos like two years ago where I said that I was retiring from snowboarding and I was gonna pursue a career as a tech decker. And, um, and for my next like four videos in every single video, I had a, a like, section of me hitting street spots with the tech deck and I was gonna it was gonna come full circle and be like this big joke that I revealed however I kind of um stopped doing it so it just kind of died and there's no conclusion so it just looked like I was really into tech deck for like a month or two and then I stopped <laughs> but if you go into my old videos there's a video called my new career and I think I, I had to re-upload it I called it screw you Kanye and then it was like my new career um in that one there's like a two minute tech deck sponsor me tape that's probably the best thing ever <sighs> you've never had a taco i can't believe people have never had tacos uh i like tamales too I'm getting tacos tonight boy i <laughs> i was thinking something else i was like yeah my dude but i think you just mean tacos <laughs> <laughs> Came for 10 out of 10 all day, every day, bro. Taco Bell or Taco Time. Taco Bell or Taco Time. We in this place. We're here to rhyme. You know it's all going to be fine when you got a taco in your mouth and it only cost time. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, taco Casa. Re Dude, remember the skate park in Huntington Park? Yeah, I know the skate park. I wanted to go back there like when I wasn't injured, but I was afraid that uh, everyone who got mad at that video was going to beat me up. So... I could never go back to the skate park to give it redemption. Um, but I heard it closed. I'll give you 10K if you love me. $10,000? Thousand dollars? So like, I double that. 20,000, 20,000, 20,000 what? You have to specify 20,000 what? Um, everyone's throwing out numbers, but I'm not seeing any monies. Money for the honey. <laughs> um, 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 um. Oh, oh my God, I caught up. Oh, blessings. I caught up. I'm still on the little rocks. We rocking out. Rock out with your... Rock out. <laughs> chalk. Oh, rock out with your chalk out. John Colors. Oh, crap. That was going nowhere. Ow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Happy quarantine, you still doing your GoFundMe? Yes, that is actually, if you guys wanna to contribute to the GoFundMe, um, the GoFundMe does not take like 30 or 50% like YouTube does. Um, GoFundMe is, I think, gofundme.com slash, oh, 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 the rock moved. Oh, uh, I it's, in the, it's in the description, all the videos. It's like it's Janice Bateri 2020 or 2022, something like that. Um, just click the link in the description of the videos um, and that helps to my my coaching and traveling and stuff beep, 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 beep. well I feel like you guys are like auctioning on me or something I keep seeing numbers go up higher and higher and I don't know if you're allowed to buy me like that hi busting queue for you 
what are you doing these days to prep for the Olympics, like lifting weights and stuff? Well, the thing is that the, uh, the gyms are all closed. So my initial plan of, oh, if one is closed, I'll just work out a lot has been dashed. Um, but you can always work out in nature with a rock that hopefully doesn't have spiders on it. And you can do some, um, actually speaking of, speaking of working out, um, I am, I'm coming up with new content ideas because, uh, because I, like I said, I'm not really able to post snowboarding content. Um, but, uh, one of my ideas is that I'm going to start doing some like morning live streams where, um, I'm just going to be on with a, um, with a actual like fitness trainer and go through like a 20 minute workout um in the mornings or afternoons or whatever and people can come and like i won't be able to like you know be watching all the comments because i'll be working out but it'll be a chance for you guys to get up too and you can put me on your computer your phone tv whatever and uh follow along the workout with me um because i really need to get on that workout grind i have a feeling what's going to happen is the mountains are going to be closed basically until like it's time for the Olympic qualifiers. They're supposed to start in September. That one might get canceled in New Zealand. Um, and then the winter, December, will be the next Olympic qualifier and then it'll be straight through through there. But I have a feeling all the mountains might be closed until the qualifiers. So there won't be any more training time. And what's gonna happen is like, you're gonna see the difference in the athletes who were able to find ways to train like physically during the whole lockdown and then the people who didn't do anything during the lockdown. And um, that's probably gonna be a difference between how people are placing, so. I definitely need to try to get my training going. And um, that's also like, when I was at my parents' house for the last few weeks, I was spending all my time just trying to edit videos and photos and like all these other things that I was doing. And I'd end up having to sit on my computer like all day and then I wouldn't work out because I was like, oh my God, I just spent 12 hours on my computer. So um, I, I kind of want to shift to just doing more live check-ins, live workouts. Um, stuff like that. I might do like cooking with jeans. Give me ideas of what you want to see me do or whatever. Um, and that way I can still interact with you guys, but it won't be taking me like, you know, five hours to film something and then 15 hours to edit. And then all of a sudden I have no time to like work out and train because that needs to be a priority. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of, uh, of that working out and such and, um, other things that you want to see me do. Man, my lips are getting dry from talking too much. Wait, what is auction? She's priceless. She's priceless, guys. Thank you, Vic Goose. Supreme 182. You guys need to go buy some water. Oh, because they're thirsty. What? <laughs> he got you. <laughs> Thanks for answering my questions. I'll keep following your videos. You're awesome. Thanks, Logan. Happy snowboarding. Yes, do Zoom. Coronavirus. Good one, Supreme Maybe talk about how you to acting and get gigs there along with your idea you shared that's great oh like um do a live where i talk about acting so actually i was thinking my video next week or the week after um yeah it's gonna be the week after i need to buy some equipment to convert vhs's into digital formats but i have some like old commercials that i did when i was a kid and um i wanted to just like i don't know do a video where i watch old commercials I did as a kid and I was trying to get a hold of there's this um film that I did an independent film where I actually had like a decently sized role in it um and I was never able to get a copy of it and I can't figure out how to get a hold of the old director um and I want to include that I still need to find a way to find that film it was called Whiskey Blue it's on my IMDb if you guys are any good at internet hunting for films um okay but I've been acting since I was like four years old. I have a, I've, or no, since I was like two, three. I have a picture of when I got my first work permit and I think I was like three, I was at like city hall, like I need my permit at three years old. Uh -huh. Working children. My brain is fried, what's your fit? Ooh, 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 ooh. Going up, going up, going up. She, uh, wow, how did I get behind again? Why does this keep happening? Okay, you have impressive internet. Oh, like this is coming through good? That's good. Have you ever ridden a horse? Yes! I used to go to horse camp when I was a Girl Scout. I really like horses. It's been a long time since I've ridden a horse though. It's been a great day in North Carolina. Looks like great weather your way also. Actually, I think um, there's, wait, if you look this way, 
those are some storm clouds making their way in. I think it's going to start storming here. Um, I'm going to have to get out of here because my van is two-wheel drive. I don't think it's going to snow that much. But um, the first couple days this week, it was really good weather. And then this was forecasted that this was going to come in. She inspired me to do my first solo trip last March. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Uh, do you like animals? Okay, so um, so I have my uh, I have a training fund that's gone through now that's through um, the International Olympic Committee um, and it supports like countries that don't have funding for their athletes so I'm getting that training fund now um, and so they're covering it's like a set amount and it is not the amount that snowboard training costs uh, but um, it's covering some of it and then I'm just you know trying to cover the rest through fundraising brand deals um working whenever i can saving money living in my van uh <laughs> wow this happened why am i so far behind god <laughs> Out. This is my own world star, guys. <laughs> That's what I was thinking is gonna happen if you're able to train all the advantage of those who can't. Yep. What is your favorite type of rock shape? Smooth shape, rock, rugged. I can't read anymore, but I like um I like really nice soft rocks, like really smooth ones. I I'm like a rock collector. I like to to take rocks with me. How worth it is it to live in a van? It's worth it. Like I mean, you save so much money. Um, it's not as comfortable, but I don't know. It I save money and I feel like. I'm more motivated to like get out and do stuff, which right now there's not much to do. But like when I was in LA living in my Jeep, uh, I, since I couldn't like sit on a couch and watch TV, I was just in my Jeep. So I'd be like, well, I guess I'll go find a skate park and go skate. Um, and it like forces you to be outside cause you don't really want to hang out inside all day. <sighs> okay. Yep. Yep. Scott gonna do some body weight exercises. Are there different times? So it's a California, just one still sunlight there. Dark in New York. Yeah. We should have sun for another, uh, three hours I don't really know what time it is right now girl you need to worry because my dry lips ow oh I said ow because I thought there's a bug on me but it wasn't it was my imagination <sighs> you got you get you got new teeth I'm having trouble seeing no they're they're just my they're my teeth <laughs> lunch text your collar for sure oh dude hook me up I'll be back in copper uh, definitely for the copper grand prix probably stay there for um a little bit for training then i think i go to china then uh locks but i might be in colorado like between those trips hello from england hello mate oh i think that was the same accent i used when i pretended to do an australian accent <laughs> what updates are great i appreciate it Gran. you are always on the go putting in work I need to converse and VHS is myself. How much was just my VHS? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, she read my comment. Dirt biking with Janice. I suck. Dude, I'm so afraid of bikes. I'm so, uh, uh, I'm so bad at biking. <laughs> what do you think of water? Do you drink it? I do drink it. Um, I need to actually go find a river and fill up my water again. I'm running low. Pee outside. Yeah, dude, I've been peeping and pooping outside. Did I say peeping? I've been peeping. I've been doing all my business outside. I've been a real uh, mountain mama. <laughs> Uh, the thing with getting dogs, I travel too much. I'm I'm out of the country and and on the road that I just can't have a dog. Mm, I love how you put the goofy stuff in your videos that most wouldn't and don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah, you know I just kind of do whatever. Damn, you know so many languages. Ni hao. Arigato gozaimasu. Ni hao is hello in Chinese. That was just hello. Uh, Arigato gozaimasu was hello in Japanese. Mm, I live next to Donner Lake. Oh. Are you watching me? I don't think you can see me. I actually can't see like I've been like at the lake every day though. <laughs> Heading back to work. Oh well bye. Nice seeing you. When did you get that van? I got it in February. Attractive women like you do ASMR. Um like <sighs> Is that peaceful to you? <laughs> to the camera oh you're talking about asmr 
how creepy is it to live in a van okay this morning i like jump woke up the thing is that i think my um subconscious is very like on high alert when i'm in the van because uh because i am like kind of aware of the like sketchiness focus on me phone um, but it's so, like this morning I was laying there and then all of a sudden I like thought that I heard someone trying to like, or I thought that someone opened the door to my van and came in for some reason. I think it was like a sound in my dream, but I thought someone opened the door and I jumped and I was like fully awake in like 0 0.01 seconds. Uh, because yeah, I, it like freaked me out. Um, so I think I'm always kind of a little bit on edge when I'm sleeping in the van. <sighs> And the pants gave me courage. You might like it, man, not a woman. I guess more is a whispering fetish to Bible and a well full straight man. Honestly, if you have a chat with love and Malta, one of the many Maltese news sites, you could probably get some exposure for your GoFundMe, especially since you're the only Maltese snowboarder. I could, yeah. Uh, love and Malta only wants to talk about me when there's like a severe drama going on in my life. Uh, <laughs> actually, oh, I forgot I was gonna make a video about that whole thing accidentally going viral in Malta. Um, that was a crazy start of the year. Um, yeah, they should get me on. Maybe I can, I can, uh, go on right now since there's not much else to talk about. Ah! 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 Losing it. Are we on this first auction in the... <laughs> Little dude. Yo, what's up? $10. Hey! Hi, what's up? I don't know. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Have you tried to figure out skate on rollerblades like Michelle Kwan? Um, I mean, I figure skate. I was a competitive figure skater like my entire life before I started snowboarding. Um, and uh, actually, you actually know Michelle Kwan. I have a picture of her holding me as a baby because my family's ice skate boot company made her skates back in the day. Um, that's really cute. I was sleeping and she was holding me sleeping and so she like put her head over and like pretended to sleep too is real cute. Did you ever talk to Carlos from I don't know why I keep doing that, I guess. I'm just getting really um saliva y right now. Did you do you ever talk to Carlos from real? I actually was messaging Carlos like two days ago. We were chatting it up. Were we? Did he message me and I forgot to reply? I think I was thinking about messaging him because I saw a John Hill's Progress Daily video on him and I was like, oh, I should hit up Carlos. And then Carlos like responded to one of my videos or one of my Insta stories. Yeah, I might have left him on red. I need to go message him back though. I miss Carlos. Uh, I am your neighbor. You inspired me to start somewhere once this whole virus mess is over. Can't wait to see you. It's an Olympics. Yo, thanks, Zachariu. 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 Zaki is Zakuyu. I see you. So you got ghost encounters in the forest before? No. Dragon, what's up? What's up with bad girl Sumsum? -sum? You spelled her name wrong. Bad girl Sumsum, -sum, my best friend. Um, she's in Colorado right now. Um, she she's from San Francisco, but I think she's uh, staying with her boyfriend in Colorado during this quarantine thing. Um, but summer's the best. I miss her a lot. <laughs> Good vibes. Good vibes. En France. Hope you are keeping safe. Merci beaucoup. Uh, et tu? Et toi? Uh, hope you are keeping safe. Et toi? I did say part of that in English because I did not know the words. Uh, cool dry mouth. It's weird. I'm saying I'm waiting. Stay safe, have fun, please. keep up doing training. Uh, peace. Bye. Oh, are you going? Bye, Scott. Thanks. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, I like your collabs with Summer. Janice is a drainer confirmed. I don't know what drainer is. What is. Ooh, 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 ooh. I've got, I've got like pigeon, pigeon rock. Ooh, bloop, bloop. How long are we going to be in isolation? Uh, hopefully not long, but might be long. Smash the like button, guys! Spiteri Gold po <laughs> Why can't I talk? Spiteri Gold Podium Princess, if we ever get to see live sports again. I was actually, I was telling, uh, I, was, I was talking to someone about that, that um, supposedly, like, no sporting events until, like, 2021. And I'm like, well, yeah, like, I mean, hockey or uh, baseball, football, basketball, all have really big crowds. But I'm like, what about snowboard events? Like, most of my snowboard events have, like, 10 people watching them. So... Um, like, I don't think that's a big deal to, like, not have a snowboard event. Like, we should be able to have snowboard events. They always have the girls compete at, like, 8 in the morning, and there's, like, maybe five sets of parents watching. And then 
people only come watch the guys in the afternoon maybe maybe there's like 20 people watching them even like world cups it's like i guess mm, the world cups that i had in asia all had really big crowds but like my contests here in the u.s like don't have anybody watching so we should still be able to have them <laughs> mm, bore it through the pain i told jose we got to go rip that indoor place je va bien Javé, Javé bien. Salivating an RV. So the whole reason I bought this van was because I wanted it to be little and be able to like fit in normal parking spots still and into garages. Say something in a say something in a British accent, dude. You're super isolated. Bye, Beijing. Chucky skate park. It's pretty sweet. Is it too soon to go skate in COVID? There was someone behind you. What? The no, there wasn't. Stop. Don't. No, you're messing with me. There was not someone behind me. No way. I think the sports that require less than 10 deals should happen. Uh, yeah, agreed. When she is not snowing, she is riding the road. We ride in. We ride in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have my van keys. Yeah. You do not see someone behind me. Don't mess with me. I'll see you rock the next one. <laughs> See, oh, I'll see you at the next Rock Olympics, okay. Love your videos and love the entire blog and your career. Keep up the good work and fingers crossed you for girls further. I am gutted to have missed your appearance since. Oh, Sierra so Nevada, Spain. Ah, oh, he's Espanol. Oh, I'm still in French accent. Hold on, let me into Spanish. Hola, 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 amigos. Uh, muchas gracias. Mm. I think my French might be better than my Spanish right now. Uh, actually, when I was in Spain, I felt like I spoke more Spanish than I knew I spoke. Like when I went to like places, I understood more and I like was able to say things that I wanted to say. And I don't know where it came from because I only ever studied Spanish for five weeks in sixth grade. Your British, <laughs> your British accent is way better than your Aussie one, LOL. Well, snap, I do not do Snapchat. I can do like, no oh, wait. I can do a real cockney accent, get real heavy and real dirty, like fishmonger, eh? I'll show them fish in the fish market, eh? Uh, or, or I could do like a more posh accent, very, um, very, the, the Queen's British, you know, uh, regal and, and upright. Would you like to have tea this afternoon? Oh, it's tea time. Are you prepared for tea time? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys when I sign off for this in like five minutes. I was only gonna do this for like 20 minutes. This has already been way too long. Mm. Why do you keep talking about... Why, why do you keep talking about someone behind me? That's freaking me out. Okay, go have fun in Organic Cam. I... Look like my people. Don't fall for it. no one's behind you. They trolling. Our boat on Quebec, Notre Dame, do not. Yeah, all, all California girls is cool. We will miss you too. Yes, all the California girls are this cool. It is just how we are. Uh, we have that de je ne sais quoi, you know? The, uh, ah, uh, fuck. Oh, Ooh, I'm not supposed to swear on my channel. Crap. Darn. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, um, que say? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Uh, what do I want to say? What is it? Is what it is. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Je ne sais quoi. Je m'appelle Janice. Comment tu t'appelles? Where did the comments go? Did I lose them? Oh, there they are. Huh. Did you color your hair again? Um, I mean, I like put green in it, but I didn't do all my hair because I didn't want to bleach it all. But you know, a little bit of green. I used the last of my green dye from when my hair was green. What are you doing this weekend? Did you say making it back home? Co uh, se como sa? It is bien. Se como sa? Uh -huh. Ooh, he slipped it out. It's dumb. Kiki. It Italian. Pale in Italiano. Ah, mamma mia, pizzeria. Mm, lasagna. Pepperoni. Mostacholi. I <laughs> It's just big for newers. Uh, I'm gonna be like on international news, like Italy now being like, American YouTuber makes fun of Italian accent. It is not on purpose. Oh wait, no, that's Italian, French again, crap. It's, I don't ever do an Italian accent. I'm not, uh, I can't really pull that one out except for saying like Italian foods. Fettuccine, 
Mamma mia, fettuccini! <laughs> Mamma mia, mosta jolly! Mamma mia, parmigiano reggiano! <laughs> parmigiano reggiano! I messed that one too. <laughs> I'm not sure it's Italian. <laughs> Show us your skateboard. Do you have a skateboard? Should I do a. Uh, should I hit you guys? Hit you guys with an Ollie real quick? Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. <clears throat> Okay, come on, come on, tripods, hang in there. Okay, ready? Sick Ollie, right? No, I'm just kidding, I'll get my board. skate shoes by the way. I don't really skate in these. There you go. That was one Ollie. There you go. Some skate tricks in my non-skate shoes. These are my uh, platform shoes. Oh, where did I go back? It is like it is. Se como sa? Se como sa? Se como sa? Thirty second kickflip challenge. I can't do a kickflip. I've been trying to kickflip for uh, for a long time, you guys, for years. It's just not happening for me. Wayne McKenzie with the thirteen ninety nine. We're feeling so fun, it's more than a dime. Ain't got nothing, ain't got no crime. Cause we're here having a ton. It's almost an hour, yeah we got the power. Gonna break it down like the morning after. Uh, uh, that's, that's, like, uh, I'm just making, if someone's gonna like steal these clips and just make fun of me on the internet, I already know this. Only what? When are you when the the crew coming to shred some Spanish snow parks? That'd be cool to go out there. I haven't really traveled with those guys. It'd be sick. I slept in. Still a bit of work to do on it. Maybe pretty late for you. Oh, you're not talking to me. You're sorry. Do a tray flip. Do the renegade. Today's the day. Con continue et parle français. C'est cool. It's cool. It is cool. <laughs> Guys, I haven't even started drinking yet today. This is, I'm just <laughs> on one. Okay, I think you will get a kickflip one day. Uh, I just said your ghost Ollie looked like a little kickflip. You're going right. You've improved a lot. Do a 360 degree. How old are you? If you fix how you place your feet for an Ollie, it would help you a lot. You seem more comfortable. Okay, here's the thing: is that like I can flip a kickflip, but I can't land on it. Hold on. This is so much pressure doing this live, and I haven't done one in a long time. See, I got a decent flip, but... I just can't land on it. That's the problem. It's just never gonna happen. I'm just never gonna land it. I've like double flipped it even. Like, I can flip it no problem. Landing? Problem. As soon as the stream is over, sing a song from me to do the Italian again. Hey, it's the Italian, we are doing the Italian. Uh, Vic, Vic Goose gave me ten dollars, he has a rolling mouth and grabbing his belly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, 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 oh, Madonna, oh, Madonna, he is grabbing his belly. Hey, mamma mia, he lost the. Oh, wait, actually, I better not swear another in Maltese. I don't know if it means the same thing in Italian. You do even remember never said wow hey jeez I actually just woke up first our kickflip right now I like your moves you're right now ah, give me a hell yeah jeans one of the most <sighs> no one said hell yeah but bless you suck your knees up when you kickflip the thing is that like because I I flick I flick down and my feet go down I can't like flick and then pull up like oh I guess that's it something like that like I don't know. 
Maybe I'll give that a try one day. <laughs> it's so hard. Skateboarding is so hard to do. Oh, I filmed... Did I? Oh, it's on my 360 camera. I found this little snow skateboard that had a string on it, and I was doing, like, tricks on the snow with it. I'll just post that on something one of these days. How do I look at my... Oh, I'm out of breath again. It's out and down. Wait, it's out and down, not out for... I don't know. <laughs> Slowly rolling into grass house. Or eat, oh, try flip. Wait, my one trick, and then I need to go. If I could land this for the first time ever right now, that'd be a miracle. Here we go. Okay, guys, that's it. I need to get out of here. Oh, okay. See you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't, smash that subscribe button. Smash it with your foot right there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, see you guys next week. Okay. All right. Bye.